You've been looking for the game to come alive Call me, here I am You've been looking for the words to free your mind Call me, here I am You've been looking for the game to heal your soul Call me, here I am Hip hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Looking for something since the death of Tupac and Biggie in this industry That's the reason you're feeling me You're getting jiggy with these beats and these lyrics off in the streets And wonder why I come with all these live deliveries Oh yeah, you gotta understand that I got the master plan That'll make you dance when I hit you with that energy And if you mess around and hit play in the club I have you popping and stopping and dropping and locking it down in your butt Because I be representing for the ladies I'm the motherfucking greatest and I hope that you can understand And not to mention that I got these bitches twitching at the minute that they listen And I hit them with the mother jams All you gotta do is pay attention at the message in the lyrics And I hope that you can feel the vibe Cause hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am You've been looking for the game to come alive Call me, here I am You've been looking for the words to free your mind Call me, here I am You've been looking for the game to heal your soul Call me, here I am Hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am all these suckers that you're grooving Will they ever stand the test of time? I bet the dip they get kicked out of the picture Just as quick as these riches Find some chickens with some better rhymes And better music with producers That produce these live acoustics On this new shit What you needed to produce the stars And if they ever get the balls To walk up on me Get them up off me Cause I'm a soft And I'm gonna hit them with the method balls That's what I happen when I step into your yard That be positioned in your city And I hit you with precision No, and brother you can just forget it If you think you find another sister That can speed and hit you with these wicked flows All you gotta do is pay attention and the message in the lyrics And I hope that you can feel the vibe Cause hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am You've been looking for the game to come alive Call me, here I am You've been looking for the words to free your mind Call me, here I am You've been looking for the game to heal your soul Call me, here I am Hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am the nurture of the birth of the magnificent rhythm nation Let me give you a demonstration I'm penetrating the rhythm through melodic harmonics With love with phonics generate intelligent conversation A combination of a lot of flavors and dominators It's complicated, you just gotta understand the music I gotta keep it in my heart, I gotta keep it in my soul I'm keeping it beating, keeping it breathing and I never lose it You see, I replicate the rhythm of the drum With the flipping of my tongue embedded in my DNA I'm ruthless, see there's a message that you gotta be delivered To the mentally bewildered, and I'm the only one equipped to do it all you gotta do is pay attention at the message in the lyrics And I hope that you can feel the vibe Cause hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am You've been looking for the game to come alive Call me, here I am You've been looking for the words to free your mind Call me, here I am You've been looking for the game to heal your soul Call me, here I am Hip-hop ain't dead, it's on the rise Here I am Reality shows be investments to the warfare on psychology of a colony of rejections. We're not accepted as real human beings. You would think since the dream of king that black lives are matter more to the world than a whole goddamn grand scheme of things. I gotta overcome self hate, but propaganda sells me inferior. I gotta buy weeds, bleach creams, and injections to get a bigger butt. See, they don't give a fuck because a million bucks is worth more than the life of a nigga slut. That's how they label us through the eyes of the world when you're worthless. Now it's time to finish up through genocide and abortions. We criminalized through extortion Black males are being blackmailed To increase the rates of divorces From their own kind Because the other side just might love them Much more than a face in a mirror But Trayvon, Eric Garner, and Walter Scott Just might beg to differ So is it a diabolical game Of real life chess being played Is our queen even on the board to protect our king Or will you check a check make this is High octane and Rachel Files make a bigger combustion USA ain't giving us nothing Just a lot of injustice Should we become a customer to Like 
seen just have to be straight petition against a pesticide turn amphibians and humans on the homosexual shit uh, see corporate dollars ain't for welfare of the citizens of they health care let's make them sick so they can make us rich and then once they die who the hell cares federal reserve bankrupt you see tyranny is internal they give illusions of a democracy and then they mark the face of obama i got open eyes no sheeple i don't believe in seeing no evil can't turn a blind eye can't keep my mouth shut can't cover my ears i got a legion through my music through my image through my bloodline and through my lineage to heal the world be truthful about history and its lynchings see problems got solutions but solutions can't be without problems so let's admit we got a problem and collectively we might solve them though yeah, they fascists, so tell them tell me your police say The American dream don't exist and if you find it right now it's a keepsake Uh, I'm giving no leeway, no. don't care what your peeps say Cause see the book of revelations no. is telling me that the sky's falling down upon the world and I'm a keep fake And more gun crimes 9-11 was like the rock star Can't get stopped But where's the new white mob They're trying to legalize Pedophilia Molestations of our children See cannibalism and secrecy When they kidnap and they kill them White supremacy is the general plan But every race is sacrificial lambs We are casualties of the warfare That's been indoctrinated on stolen land Criminality goes hand in hand With the humanization from the 1% That say fuck the poor Save the rich and everything else We'll let it go to shit So damn is it over with See the Patriot Act is in solid play See the Bill of Rights, they think they killed the right They ain't giving our voice no time of day They say it's sayonara to all the power But I'm praying that it ain't too late for change But in the meantime, we'll dig a fox soul Because staying too still is like digging graves So, is it the end of mankind? Is it the new world order? Is it technological advances giving us the power to destroy us? Uh, we ain't got a lot of time, you know Cause that time is running out uh, We gotta make plenty changes in our lives And we gotta do it starting from the inside out uh. It's the High Powered Podcast. Lit conversations, debates, and advice that keep you turned up. What's good? What is good? What is good? It's your girl, Princella, coming at you raw, live, and uncut, as always. All right. I hope y'all had a, I hope y'all had a good week. I had a good week. I've been, 
I've been doing my thing, y'all. I've been I've been really sitting down working on this book, right? Remember I told y'all I got like 41 different types of dudes and what they pursue and use women for? Yeah, I've been working on that book real hard. I should be finished writing it in about two days, right? And then on top of that, I have private live sessions that I've been doing. I did two of them this week. So, yes, I have Wednesday lives that I be doing. And they are lit because I even give more information. I go deeper into things that y'all really need to hear about, right? But not only do I do that, like this, this next Wednesday, I got two instances, two things that happened this week that made me have to put on my thinking cap when dealing with people right and i want to detail that to you because it's some dangerous stuff and i want to teach you how to notice red flags and how to plumb deep into the psychology uh, and the behavior of people i want you to be able to see red flags right and and learn how not to ignore them so i'm going to tell you about two things that happened this week but i'm only going to go through the details on my wednesday live right on my wednesday live so if you want to if you want to check out the wednesday lives that are done at 7 p.m all you got to do is upgrade to high power on the tiers select the tier the initial tier is called low power, and this will allow you to comment on the everyday videos or the everyday lives. But if you want to watch these private lives, that is only for the people of the high power tier. Now, with that being said, I need to make sure I address something. The knowledge, wisdom, and all this stuff that I'm teaching you, baby, I didn't get this for free. Ain't nothing in this world for free. So if you thinking something is for free and you expect people to just give you stuff for free, you have a sense of entitlement and you a crumb bum. Because the stuff that I didn't put together took me 25 years to put together. And I lost a lot of money getting played by people to learn this. I spent a lot of money going to school to learn this. I got blisters on my feet. And calluses on my feet from walking in the military and doing all that stuff to learn this. I done slept on the streets. I done spent a lot of days and nights thinking, 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 and putting this stuff together. I didn't get this for free. right? And time ain't free. This takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort. And it takes a lot of wit to put this stuff together in a way that is entertaining, engaging, and enlightening to help you change your life. Baby, I could be charging thousands of dollars for this information. And my lowest tier is $6.99. Baby, I'm disrespecting myself to help you. I'm disrespecting myself to help you. Right? Because some of the information that I got, gold diggers got, and they getting sponsored thousands of dollars and ain't even having to sleep with no dudes knowing the stuff that I know. And here I am teaching it to you for very low cost, damn near free. So don't question me about why I got tears because I really should be charging you a hell of a lot more than what I'm charging you. Because if you don't watch it, I don't give a damn. You know why I don't care if you don't watch my shit? Because... Mm. I'm not just entertaining. I'm a teacher and my information changed your life. And guess who is the one that's going to suffer for making fucked up decisions? It ain't me. It ain't me. Cause see, I know better. See, I know this. You the one that don't know it. You the one that don't know it. And let me tell you something. I don't have no problem privatizing all my stuff right because it's gonna take a couple years before other people figure it out right 
So you can keep going to bump your head and keep getting used and let these dudes run game on you. I don't care. I don't care. Because that's your life. I didn't figure it out. I don't have to share my stuff with you. So if I put a price on it, let me tell you something. I earned every right to ask or to price my stuff. I earned every single right to ask you for a donation. I earned every right to ask for super chats because the stuff that I got, baby, this saved you thousands of dollars. Yeah, you get off antidepressants when you listen to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get off antidepressants. You don't have to pay your therapist no more. A penny saved is a penny earned. Don't question me. I got every right to put a price tag on whatever I do. And if I want to put a price tag on it, you either going to pay for it or you going to get out of my face. Because you'll pay for bullshit. Right? You go pay for some bundles. You'll go pay to get some injections in your ass, right? To, to appeal to the lowest grade person that ain't going to pay you or do nothing for you, <laughs> right? Because you're going to go get some booty shots and pay thousands of dollars for that to get the lowest grade dude to pay you some attention because you ain't got no love for yourself. But you can't pay for stuff that's going to enlighten you. Baby, bitching about what I charge will make me only raise the price and remove my content. Let me tell you something. It'll make me remove my content. You will not disrespect me like that. Because I don't owe you diddly squat. I got my head knocked off to learn what I learned. And you will respect me. I don't know what you think this is. <laughs> I don't think, I think you think I'm desperate for a view count. I think you think I'm desperate for a subscriber count. Let me tell you something. I ain't no slave to nobody. I'm not no slave to YouTube. I'm not no slave to no subscriber count. I'm not going to kiss your ass. You understand? You will respect my time and you will respect my intelligence. Period. Now, we talking about Andrew Tate tonight. We talking about Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuels and the entire manosphere. I keep telling y'all the divine feminine, the true God is already back on the planet. And you can't stop it. Nope. You can't stop it. And what I got here is like Noah's Ark. What I have right here is like Noah's Ark. Why is this like Noah's Ark? Because, baby, the day of reckoning is coming. The day of reckoning is coming. And it ain't that far away. You can either take heed to the direction that's being shown to you. Or you can get left behind with them. You can either take heed to the direction that's being shown or you can get left behind. The choice is yours. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to beg you to see it. I'm not going to beg you to see it. First, it was Kevin Samuels. Before Kevin Samuels clocked out of here, because I'm going to tell you, it's my belief, my strong belief, that the divine feminine used Kevin Samuels as a pawn. In the game. It is because of Kevin Samuels opening the floodgates to allow the male to expose his true nature for the world to see. His true nature, his true intent, and his true capabilities. 
it was Kevin Samuels that opened the floodgates. But prior to that, Kevin spent his time talking to males. And he got this thing and he blew up overnight bashing women, black women specifically. And the creator let him go, the divine feminine let him go long enough. And the, the last thing that Kevin said before he clocked out of here was don't believe your daughters. Hmm. Don't believe your daughters if she come and tell you that her husband or that your boyfriend or husband touched her. Hmm. That was the last thing or the last show that Kevin did. And then he was found clenching his chest, gasping for air because, sir, your job has been done. You ain't needed no more. So the so-called godfather who the rest of the minions need to think for them then clocked out of here. And then they thought they got a replacement. Hmm. You got a bunch of copycats to come right behind him. Then they thought they got a replacement with Andrew Tate. Huh. They thought they got a replacement with Andrew Tate. And then they start praising him. But here's the message. The message from both of them is to subjugate the feminine. The message from them both is to subjugate the feminine, to beat, hate, degrade. And if you think that the divine feminine who is back on the planet finna let your message ride, if you think that you're in a shift to grow the masculine, the reckless masculine even more, baby, you blind. You're blind. And if you a woman who can't see, refuse to see, and don't want to listen, and you want to stick with the lowest level, baby, you going out with them. You're going out with them because, baby, the trash is being taken out. So now it has come out that Andrew Tate is wrapped up in sex trafficking and he enjoys the R word. It's interesting because Andrew Tate has only shown you everything that I have shown you already about the male and his nature. And they enjoy. So now you have millions of people. Hold on. Stop. Pause. Who blocking who? Because everybody in the chat should be paid. Who getting blocked? Let's not block people unless they are breaking the rules. Y'all need to follow the rules. Make sure you follow the rules of the people in the chat. Be careful with what you do with the emojis and stuff because paid members should not be getting blocked. And specifically, if you paid members, you've been here for a while, so you should know how to conduct yourself in the chat. All right. I'm going to get a, I'm going to have to have a powwow with the moderator so I understand what's going on because we do get a lot of complaints about people being blocked or banned and they profess they haven't done anything. So I need to make sure that we aren't just blocking and banning people because we in our own personal feelings and we got the power to just do it because we don't like a person. We need to make sure we're not doing that. I don't, I don't condone that. I'm also not a person. Let me tell y'all something. I'm also not a person who feels that everybody has to agree with me 100%. I welcome difference of opinion. I just don't welcome disrespect. I don't care if a person disagrees with me. I don't care if they voice their opinion. They can be delusional. They can be as delusional as they want to. Just as long as they ain't disrespecting me. I don't tolerate disrespect. Okay. So let's 
let's keep it kosher and let's not make people feel alienated, especially if they didn't spend their money. All right. I appreciate that. Now. The male's nature is what I talk about on this channel. Because in the purpose of me, this is a channel. This is a channel for women. This is a personal development channel for women. This is an enlightenment and empowerment channel for women. I don't empower men. I don't talk to men. And I don't care what they think. I don't even rationalize with them because you can't rationalize with them. Right. On this channel, what we do is we dissect and I expose the nature of the male to its raw and to its lowest possible denominator. So that way women can stop idealizing, fantasizing and romanticizing the nature of the male so that it allows her to make more logical and rational decisions when dealing with him. Right. If she going to deal with him. But as I teach them, as I show them that the risk is far greater than the reward that you get out of dealing with a male. The risk is far greater than dealing with the reward because there's practically no reward when dealing with the male. It's all risk. So now what you have in Andrew, Andrew Tate is the rawest form of male nature running wild. The reason why he got banned off TikTok because there is a crisis going on in the world. A major crisis with a overabundance of males on the planet. Too many males on the planet and the nature of them all the same. And when their needs, their base needs are not met, which is the highest being sex, you create a ticking time bomb. They removing jobs out of the job market. They, they're losing access to women. You have created a ticking time bomb and then you get somebody as reckless as Andrew Tate imputing in the male and assuaging his ego and boosting it up to make him more violent and make him more aggressive to women and the world around him. And you have young people and disenfranchised males listening to it and eating it up only inciting and ramping up the rage that's in them. That's the reason why Andrew Tate with his reckless behind got banned. And they so-called king and they so-called new God has been shown to be reckless, raw, and dang near psychopathic as women have been saying. Because he likes, he gets off by graping people, right? So let's go ahead and play what Andrew Tate said. <sighs> let's see what we let's see what we got here. Andrew Tate sent these texts and voice memos. To a woman who accused him of grape. Andrew Tate is currently detained in Romania on suspicion of human trafficking. That's typical of the male nature. Typical. Right? However, before come, becoming famous, he was arrested twice on suspicion of grape and assault in the UK in 2015. This is not... Surprising, given the fact Andrew Tate has been freely saying. You he has been freely saying publicly. That. The aggression. 
and beating up and fighting gets him sex with the baddest women. Remember when he was out there talking and comparing males to uh, to gorillas? Yeah. He has been freely saying this on TikTok before he got banned and on other platforms. So this is not surprising. Okay. The, pro- the Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, decided not to charge him with any crimes because there was no realistic prospect of a conviction. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about politics and the court system. You must understand that the nature of the male is operating at the, at the lowest level of Maslow's hierarchy of human needs. He operates within the first law of nature, which is the law of self-preservation. So the male is perpetually and eternally trapped into a survival of the fittest mentality. He has been trained or he is, he is born to compete with other males to pass his genes along. His highest aspiration is sex, power, control, and domination, conquering and dividing. That is the male nature. That is the male nature. Aggression is something that is attached to testosterone, which is a chemical that floods the male body. So the average male has been, uh, they have attempted to domesticate him. But somehow the male ended up with power in politics because they built the false or fictitious or artificial system. They built the matrix. The male built the matrix. So when you go to court, you have to understand that the male is operating in survival of the fittest. His whole thing is to exist on planet Earth. So you as a woman going into a male dominated courtroom who the males have created the laws to protect themselves. They know their nature. The male knows his nature. So he cannot totally side with you as a woman. No matter how much you accuse him, because if they give the male the harshest punishment for their nature, then none of them would exist. They're basically exiling themselves and they ain't going to exile themselves. So they're not going to be convicting males and giving them harsh punishments for things that are in their nature. Grape is a part of their nature. Yes, it is. It takes the male a lot of self-discipline and control to ref- to to prevent himself from getting aggressive and taking sex that he feels is available. Graping is a part of the male nature. So they're not going to be convicting all of these males for something that is literally a part of who they are. This is why you ain't getting no justice. This is the reason why women find themselves keeping it quiet and nobody believing them because the male is not going to exile himself. A third woman has now come forward to accuse Tate of grape. This is the so-called godfather who out there telling the truth. And this is who patriarchy allowed to run free to say we are the leaders, the leaders who have no self-governance and no self-control who get off on the lowest of the lowest crimes against humanity. They get off this way. A third woman has now come forward to accuse Tate of rape. The survivor, referred to as Amelia, to protect her identity, had been dating Tate for just two or three weeks before the rape took place in 2013. 
Vice has obtained and released WhatsApp messages and voice memos that Tate sent her. This ain't the first time because there's an entire video with Tate beating this woman and getting off being aggressive with her. And then how I found that video is some dude was making a reaction and saying, this is just an act. And he just get off with fantasy, right? Justifying the brutality and the sick mentality of the male to take out his violent desires and quote unquote role play. I just need you to understand this BDSM stuff that they, this is just an excuse or a pathway for them to act out their animalistic nature freely. That's what it's about. So the next two slides contain sexually aggressive language and graphic Descriptions of great violence and abuse. According to Vice, Tate allegedly sent Amelia these text messages. And I love graping you. I love graping you. And watching you let me while still debating if it's a good idea or not. Now, this is a Guy with 4.5 million subscribers, 4.5 million who worship the ground he walk on, who wants to emulate this guy who is a self-proclaimed alpha male, high value male, and who opened the gates for Tate, Kevin Samuels. That's why Kevin ain't here no more. Kevin was used as a pawn to change the course of nature, to change the foundation of all this stuff that's going. It's cleanup time. It's cleanup time. You were my whore when I had my hands on you. Monsters are monsters. Where, where you're under my control, I do whatever I please. This is the innate, this is the lowest nature of the male. His ultimate desire is control and subjugation. This is why they talk about submission so much. Submission is the obsession because we're going to go we're going to go into the etymology of submission. We're going to go to the etymology and the denotative definition of submission to let me show you. Stop letting these dudes finesse you with words because you can't change the meaning of a word that's been here since before you was even thought of. And you using these words, right? They have a deep, they have a deep urge to control and subjugate women. And one of these reasons why is because they are envious and they hate the fact that you were born with a natural power that they wasn't born with. So when they finally get some resources, they want to take it out on you that you didn't like them when they didn't have nothing. Right. They want to get revenge on you. I need you to understand that. Tate also sent Amelia this voice memo. Make sure it can play. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. The more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. You do understand that that's a level of psychopathy, right? And you think your crying, begging, and pleading is going to get through to the male when scientific study shows that the male lacks empathy. His empathy is way lower than a woman. 
This is scientific facts. Scientific fact number two is that males are much poorer at listening than women are. So here you think that a per you're talking to a person who is low in empathy and they are low in listening skills. They don't have the faculties to listen and comprehend the way that women do. And you sitting up here thinking that you're going to rationalize with them and beg and plead and cry. And you think they care when they actually enjoy seeing you like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you were cool. What's wrong with you? Dang, I thought you was cool. I like seeing you hurt and you tripping. I thought you was cool. Gaslighting. This is, this is their God. This is who 4.5 million people are following and letting into their mind. And if you haven't seen the rise of crime as a result of manosphere talking points, then you are blind because they have incited the male's violence and the, 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 the chains, the chains, the artificial controls, the, the, the little bit of morality that the male had from the, from the conservative era has been broken down and they have sunken to the absolute lowest of their nature. They are complete animals at this stage. With no sense of morality. Okay. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Why am I? Why am I like this? It turned me on. Right. Sam Little. Serial killer. Enjoyed strangling women. Right? And they can't nobody say, oh, this just... An no, you follow Andrew Tate. You worship him. You found him when they banned him off of these platforms and you went to follow him because you wanted to continue to suck up what he's saying. Right? And you're going to change. You're changing in the relationships with women. You're becoming more violent. Right? Yeah. I hate it. What did he say? Amelia shared her story after two other women came forward. It takes a group of women to convince somebody, the world, that the male's nature is the male's nature. Right? We know that the male is sex driven. We know he's out of control. But it takes a, a slew of women to convince the world that the male is capable of doing male stuff. Ain't that interesting? I think that's real interesting. Right? The day of reckoning is upon us. And it's going to get worse before we get better. I felt stronger, she said. I felt like, okay, I'm not alone now. I've got two other girls. Let me tell you how powerful that is. Y'all sitting up here being pick me's and being the sides with males. Looking for males to quote unquote protect and provide. And protection and provision is not the nature of a male. Divide and conquer is the nature of the male. Hunting for prey is the nature of the male. Protection and providing ain't it. Protecting and providing is the nature of a woman. And a single woman is not a woman without a male. The single woman is a woman without a community of women to back her up and protect her. I felt stronger. She said, I felt like, okay, I'm not alone now because I got two other girls. But without that other girl, the world, the male is against her. Protection and providing is the nature of a woman. 
And you sitting up here hating on other women to get attention from males that will take your life any given minute. Who will date rape you. Who will use other chicks, right? To set you up so they can take advantage of you. The male is a conqueror. He is a hunter. He is not a provider or protector. You are not alone as long as you got a slew of women with you. You alone if you depending on the male because the male would do everything to protect his ego and you the last thing on his goddamn mind. You are alone if you are solely dependent on a male. Right? So let me show you the effects. Let me show you the effects of what's happening out here. Let's go back to my face. Remember when I did the show about the pick me's and the boy moms, pick me's and boy moms, specifically boy moms, not my son, not my son, not my little pride and joy, him. Good evening. I would never share this disturbing, traumatic experience. However, I pray this will help someone on Saturday, January 7th, 2023, Kendra Hamlin and my 30 year old son, Melvin O'Neill visited my home at 830 a.m. We laughed, talked, they argued. Then she left my son. Yes, my son that I gave birth to. At my house saying she would come back to get him. My ex-son lured me to my bathroom. Then he beat me with his fist saying he was going to beat me to death. He almost did. He beat me. Then he sexually assaulted me. This will always be a date I will never forget. Please always be aware of any and everyone. I'm sharing this because I know that none of this was my fault. I trusted that my son would never do that to me or anyone. My family has been very supportive and visiting me in the hospital every day. And it definitely helps me with the emotional pain. If y'all don't see what's happening, I'm telling you, you're going to wake up. You're going to wake up because male nature is coming unraveled. I'm strong mentally and a survivor. I was able to escape and I'm alive. He, Melvin O'Neill, will spend the rest of his life in prison. And look what he did to his mama. Look what he did to his mama. That's what he did to his mama. Her son that she gave birth to. Her son that she gave birth to. This is what he did to her. Not my boys. Males are males. Why do you think that the animals kick the males out? Once they hit a certain age. Your, your, your most, in, the most intelligent place, the answers for everything that you need to find lie in nature. But y'all think y'all smarter than Mother Earth. You think you smarter than the divine feminine. You think you smarter than Mother God. But you ain't. And, the, and she has shown you that you ain't smarter. Because you have built up an anti-natural system of patriarchy. In every philosophy... That spun off of it, capitalism, 
patriarchal philosophy, right? Rooted in competition, something that's of the male. Every philosophy of patriarchal society is filled with male thinking. And so they have imputed in your doctrines, imputed in your schools, imputed in your mind everything that is male functioning. And male's leading is anti-nature. Anything that is male dominated is anti-nature. And this is the reason why the entire world is jacked up. The entire world is jacked up. Let us make sure. I know. I know. I know, baby. I know your ego hurt. Keep on throwing them down with thumbs. I want to hurt your ego. I want it on the ground. I want it on the ground. Let me, let me show you something. Yeah. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. Because I know what the creator didn't say. It. Mm. That is four one seven six two four four one seven six two four. Bam. Okay. We gon we gonna play this. So so that we can see the reality, right? We didn't seen this video before, but I'ma show it again. I'ma show it again. Let's go here. species on this planet were asexual. Uh, they reproduce by copying themselves. So here's my take on it. Women came first. Women created men. Oh, oh sorry. The earliest species on this planet were asexual. Uh, they reproduce by copying themselves. So here's my take on it. Women came first. Women created men just to carry genes, which is why the egg is so big. It has lots of other DNA in it besides the chromosomes and the sperm is so small. It has nothing but the chromosomes. If you remember the size of the sperm to the egg, it's like the moon to the sun. Uh, two eggs through a process called atomoxis, which is an electrical process, can be fused together and actually make a species in lower organisms. Two sperm can't even go out for a beer yet. So what's the deal? Women created men to carry extra genes for those times when they wanted to survive. Men created fancy colors, feathers, dances, whatever they could do to get women's attention because the whole goal is to get your genes into another body. So the males created all of this fancy preening and then they created aggression. And then they would fight among themselves so that the biggest and the strongest would get the females. And therein lies the problem because once they obtain the females, the men then use that aggression to control them, to uh, make decisions for them, even though the women were the smarter of the two. And so the world is screwed up, and that's my take on it. Women, believe it or not, at every age, have better executive functioning, slightly better intellect, better problem solving, lower incidence of impulsive behavior, because they evolve to stick around, take care of the children, forage for food while the men wandered around hoping to kill something. So should women run the world? Yes, but men are not going to get out of the way and let them do it. Mm. Mm. The male came from the female. The male was not first. His nature is to destroy his nature is destructive and they get off 
on being in the lowest of the lowest of their nature. Do I need? Yes, I do. I'm going to replay the other video, sexual conflict, to go in accordance with this one. See, ladies, this is how I think. This is how I connect the dots, right? I connect the dots of life by finding the truth that don't change. And guess where you're going to find the truth at? You're going to find it in nature. The only place that you can find the male being first anywhere is in organized religion. That is the only place. Nowhere else in the entire universe do you see masculine energy leading anything. Nowhere. Not in electronics. Not anywhere. Not in the universe. Not in the cell. Not in the, the not in the not in the solar system, nowhere. The only place that you can find masculine energy being dominant and being first is in organized religion. Period. Why? Because it was created by men so that males could survive and control women. That is it. Okay? A lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. That's the raw dog truth and that is the reason why religion is disintegrating all of the laws are laws are not forcing people to do this no more and when you remove the artificial controls nature tends to go back in the direction that nature want to go so what you see out in this world ladies and gentlemen is the removal of an anti-natural stimulus and the world going crazy because everybody is confused because they got accustomed to the false environment. Now they're being put back into a more natural environment and don't know how to function. So they going crazy. They have an altered psychology. They have an altered psychology and an altered biology. When you step away from it and you, you, when you raise your consciousness and you go to the top of the pyramid and then you look down, it's a sight to see, baby. All I can tell you, this is a hell of a sight to see. Right. So let me go ahead and play the sexual conflict um, video again from our YouTube so you can see what Andrew Tate is getting off on. This is the nature of the male. Religion lied to you. Your schools lied to you. Everybody lied to you. This is why science, they, they got you away from science, right? Most animals need a partner. So in one sense, mating is cooperative, with each partner contributing half their DNA to the offspring. But mating also involves plenty of competition between the sexes. Okay, so we're looking at the base nature. Now, I have another episode that I've done where I pulled up videos, right, of human males doing everything that the woman said in this video, right? Everything that the woman said is in the animal nature. I pulled up different videos from Facebook, right? From the news. Yeah, from news sources to show you that the male is behaving just like an animal. So that people can say, well, that's a duck. That's no, 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 no. It don't matter because this is the male's nature in every species, including the human species. So let me show you something. That's because both males and females are hardwired to try to make babies that can survive and reproduce. But they do this in totally different ways. So they do it in totally different ways, right? Because we, we, we talking about what the guy just said, okay? With, with women coming first. And they can create an organism with two eggs through a process called atomoxis, right? The male's ultimate objective, the male's highest aspiration on planet Earth is sex. That's his highest aspiration. 
And unless you give him a purpose greater than that, he will never rise above sex. So how could the leader, the natural born leader, be the one that is capped? Listen, he's capped in his lowest nature because sex is a part of the lower nature. Baby, there are higher nature things that are much higher than sex. The male is incapable of a lot of higher level functioning, a.k.a. what the guy just said. At every level of women or girls, they have better executive function than males. The male is capped at sex. He's here. The woman is here. The girl is here by nature. But patriarchy put the male here whose highest aspiration is sex and allowed him to run wild when the woman is his natural governor the woman is the male's natural governor and they took that away and put her on the bottom and put the male on standing on top of her so there is this gender war i want y'all to see this this gender war is biological and it's eternal. The gender war is eternal. It is not something that you could correct because it is a part of nature. The male is upset because he can't get his sexual needs met at the rate that he wants to and he's capped. Based on the access that the female allows. Well, patriarchy forced the woman to allow the male to get as much sex as the male wanted. To have as many kids as the male wanted. That's anti-nature. The male ain't supposed to get sex when he wanted. He is at the beck and call of the woman by nature. Right? But law and law enforcement flipped the tables. Ways that actually threaten the other sex's genetic legacy. This threatens the other sex's genetic legacy. The way the male wants to do stuff threatens the life and the nature of the female. So if you are a pick me jumping on the male side, you are literally sacrificing yourself and other women for his survival because he don't give a damn about yours. Because by nature, the male don't listen. By nature, he's lower in empathy. For male. By nature, he's lower in empathy. So he don't ever give a fuck about you. It is you. Who has higher levels of empathy and higher listening comprehension skills. So the power being in the hands of the woman will naturally be beneficial to the male since she is more empathetic by nature. But by him having no empathy and being trapped in survival of the fittest, having him rule destroys the entire goddamn planet. It's all about quantity. Sperm are easy. Let's rewind a little bit. See, for males, it's all about quantity. Sperm. Are so for males, it's all about quantity. That's all he's thinking about. Sperm is easy to mass produce. It's cheap. That's the reason why they leave them in. That's, that's the reason why they leave them on park benches. Yeah, they leave sperm on park benches. They leave them in used condoms at the at the corner store. Right? You get out your car, you open your door, bam, you step down and realize you done stepped on a used condom. Yeah, I know you have been in the hood. You been in the ghetto. That's what they do because they that goddamn low grade. Right? They leave it everywhere. Right? If you was on my Facebook live show the other day, it wasn't no show. It was just me kicking it. And if you was on my Facebook live, you saw me pull up about 30 places or 35 places that the male and stuck his peewee. 
They stick it in anything. Between two couch cushions. They stuck it in, one of them stuck it in a jar of marshmallows. And then the marshmallows melted. And it got stuck on the pubes on his in, in his genital area and on his scrotum and stuff and it it dried up because he couldn't take a shower for two days because the water was off so he ended up having to shave because he couldn't get the he couldn't get the marshmallows off his thing that's right another one put his thing in a bag with soap and two pieces of ham mm-hmm yeah they stick it anywhere Need you to understand anywhere, cause sperm is easy to mass produce, and you sitting up here fighting over them for what? Sperm are easy to mass produce, and most males spend little time or energy parenting. Most males spend little time or energy parenting. He give you the sperm, and then he off. Sound a lot like Nick Cannon, don't it? Uh huh. It sound a lot like. Future, don't it? It sound a lot like them 16 males that created 336 kids between the 16 of them on my other episode, huh? That's the male. And you give the male free reign, this what he gonna do. And patriarchy and all of patriarchy's religions gave the male the leading position to be reckless like that. Yep, sure did. So did when the natural governor, the woman, is under his feet. So she can't stop him because she got to submit. Because all they want to preach is submission. Submission because they want control so they can get their highest aspirations met. Because they don't have control over the self. All they think about is sex, 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 domination, 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 and aggression. And control. That's the ultimate goal and then you wonder why the world is in shambles because you got the you got the person you got the male in the wrong god dang position that's why that's why he gone so their best mating strategy is to breed in bulk the more so the best mating strategy is to breed in bulk right the more offspring they have, the better the odds that some will thrive. The more offspring they have, the better the odds that some will thrive and the better the odds that he births a boy. The better the odds that he births a boy because a male child cannot exist without him passing down a Y chromosome. And he needs the woman to pass it down. In nature, women or females naturally abort children. There are animals who can self-abort at any time. Depending on the conditions and all of that. The male depends heavily on the woman to birth the child. This is the reason why patriarchy Religions, patriarchal religions and philosophy focus on male children because they want to survive and they need the woman to make them survive. So they want the woman to self-sacrifice her existence for him to survive. So they force you to want to keep birthing kids. That's why they prefer the male child over the female child. And by them doing this, they've overinflated the entire planet with more males than necessary. Because the male is only interested in his own survival. Now, I'm going to try to find the post where the guy, the guy, this woman made a post. And she was like, hmm, this dude, my coworker, they've been trying to have a kid. Over and over, and they just put all this money into trying to have a child, and the woman finally got pregnant. And then the, my coworker come and say he's 
he's disappointed. He's sad and he don't know what to do. Like he a failure or some shit. And she was like, why? Because my wife is pregnant with a girl. And I wanted a boy. So he ain't happy and he don't want the girl child. They done spent all this money um, trying to, but he wanted a boy. Where does that come from? This idea that I got strong sperm and I didn't produce the boy. That means I got strong genes. The whole psychology of the male is to copy himself so that he stays here. And he needs the woman to self-sacrifice her survival for him to stay here. That is the reason why patriarchal philosophies have created religions centered around worshiping males because nature by nature, women are the ones who are worshiped because males go to sleep thinking about sex with women. Men wake up thinking about sex with women. He spent his whole day thinking about women and you got to force the male to praise and worship another man. Because by nature, men worship fucking women. And patriarchy didn't like that. Males don't like that. So they force you to worship a male God, which is anti-nature, baby. Because everything on this planet is feminine. The fruits you eat are feminine. Right? Yeah, them ovaries, them tree ovaries, which is called fruit. Baby, that's from a woman. Everything that you do is the worship of a woman. But they hate you so much that they created entire systems, entire cultures to eradicate you and praise the male and create a level of chaos. And that's why you wonder, is God even real to be letting all this chaos go on? The problem is, is you believe in a male God, the destroyer. That's your problem. Because males conquer, males hunt, males kill. So when you worship a male god, that's what you get. For most females, this strategy doesn't work because they have a limited supply of eggs and spend lots of time and energy caring for their young. Instead, females want to make sure that they can get the best dad for every one of their offspring. So so they want to get the best dad. They, they, look, look, they focus on what? Nurturing, protecting and providing for their young. Protecting and providing is the nature of a woman. That is the nature of a woman. In every species. Some choose only to mate with a... So at the beginning... Males produce all this sperm and they spend little time parenting and they leave. Does that sound like protecting and providing to you? Or that sound like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm gone. Tell me. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm gone. Versus the woman sitting here taking care of the offspring. Making sure that she provides nourishment for the offspring, provision, nurturing and caring and making sure that it's protected so that it can thrive and go out and live in the world on its own. Protecting and providing is the nature of a woman. And they lie to you. Patriarchy took the two aspects of the nature of a woman and gave that responsibility to the male. And he don't even want that responsibility. The male doesn't even want to do that. And so it's too much of a burden for the male to do, which is the reason why he's going through a psychosis right now. Because he keep failing at protecting and providing because it ain't in his goddamn nature. He keep failing. This is the reason why they're angry. The biggest, flashiest, or best behaved males. Others may. Hold on. Let's let's rewind it again. Add for every one of their offspring. Some choose only to mate with the biggest, flashiest, or best behaved males. 
Others mate with multiple males and then choose a winner. Chickens, for instance, can selectively squirt out sperm from subpar suitors. But the pickier females are, the tougher it is for the average male to make babies. The pickier females are, the tougher it is for the average male to make babies. This is universal. This is the nature. Forget patriarchal philosophy. Forget your religion. Forget capitalism forget nuclear family forget all of these philosophies and this bullshit this is the nature right here this is raw dog this is raw dog the pickier the female is the harder it is for the male to exist the pickier the female is, the harder it is for that male to exist. He needs you so that he can survive. The male cannot survive without the woman. The woman is never in a desperation for being able to create offspring. She can create offspring at any time. The male cannot. So as a result of the male's natural disadvantage, because we talk about a natural disadvantage, this is the reason why the male is clinging on to people like Andrew Tate. This is the reason the male is clinging on to people like Kevin Samuels, because they can't stand the nature that they were born in. And this is the reason why they had to create artificial matrix systems so that they could be the rulers in the artificial world. The world that you all live in is artificial. It's not real. It's the matrix. And the male is the architect of the matrix. Because only he reigns and rules in this matrix. Because in the real world, in nature, he is not supported. That is the reason why they have a fight against Mother Earth. Against the woman. Because if he allows the woman to be free, it's in direct opposition of his existence. So. So males have evolved ways to limit females' discretion. So males have evolved ways to limit female discretion. And they did it through religion. They made you worship a male God and told you that God was a man. They made you prefer to birth male children. So that you could lower your access point so they can run rampant inside of you. Marrying girls off at nine and ten years old so he could knock her up with as many kids as he wanted. Turned you against your family. Turned you against your homegirls. Everybody so he could isolate you so he could do as he wanted pleases with you and they wrote that shit into religions they wrote it and then because the males run the laws they do not really take rape seriously because if they do that would mean they would have to exile themselves because it's a part of their nature you don't believe me let me show you in some species, males take their mates through brute force. Mm. In some species, males take their mates through brute force. What is this brute force? Huh? What is the brute force? Goddamn rape. This is in the male's nature. That's why Andrew Tate was like, mm. the more you, the more you screamed, the more you fall back the more I enjoyed it am I a bad person because the, the more you didn't like it the more I enjoyed it I fucking loved how much you hated it turn me on why am I like that 
Why? I am one of the most dangerous men on this planet. Sometimes you forget exactly how lucky you were to get fucked by me. Would you rather me pin you down and make you do things you didn't like, or would you rather fuck You didn't like that I was thinking I can do whatever I want to. That's what it is. I'm the smartest person on this fucking planet. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't fucking pass out. Chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ, I thought you were cool. What's wrong with you? Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Why am I like that? Why? I am one of the most dangerous men on this planet. Sometimes you forget exactly how lucky you were to get fucked by me. Would you rather me pin you down and make you do things you didn't like, or would you rather fuck You didn't like that I was thinking I can do whatever I want to. That's what it is. I'm the smartest person on this fucking planet. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't fucking pass out. Chill. This is the nature of the male that they gave the power to. In some species, males take their mates through brute force. While male hmm. Males in other species take the slightly less unsavory approach of obsessively following their mates around to stalking. Right? Stalking. Or putting themselves in the friend zone hoping that they get an opportunity. The highest aspiration of the male is sex. And you wonder why the world is in shambles because the God that you pray to every day that you worship is male. And the laws and the court systems, your judges, your doggone attorneys, your cops are male. And before they put your survival at the beginning, they going to put their own. So they're always going to more move to the side of the male. Then they care about you. That's why you got to get a group of women and come in with, with all of them. Because what the male fears is a bunch of women neutralizing his power. This is the reason why they have to pitch you up against each other. I don't like dark skinned women. Oh, she better than you. And then you stupid enough to fall for it. You stupid enough to hate on your home girl to please the male who is effectively dividing you up so it makes it easier for him to control you. They don't like groups of women. The male does not like groups of women. He is intimidated by groups of women. And you too stupid to see that. So you divide yourself up because you are poisoned with patriarchal philosophy because you everything that you think has been written by a male has been focused on males and you think like a male they have you don't even think like a woman you think like a male you have abandoned yourself Right. But the creator coming back, the true God is coming back to clean all this stuff up and flip this shit on his head. And that's the reason why Andrew Tate got caught up. That's the reason why Kevin Samuels ain't here no more. Because that message is not going to flourish in the age of Aquarius. That message is not going to live in the age of Aquarius. It's all coming down. Keep other suitors away. Male squirrels try to ensure fidelity by plugging females' reproductive tracts with a fluid that hardens after sex. All they want to do is control. Listen, this is the nature in the male in all species. This is him. The male 
is a rat. The male is a squirrel. The male is a beetle. The male is a spider. He's all that. The human male is all of this. And you treating him like he's you. He's not. He is a conqueror. He is a destroyer. Because he is desperate to stay here and he's desperate to give you his sperm. That's all he care about. Creating a sort of biological chastity belt. And male fruit flies go even further. Along with their sperm, they release a chemical cocktail that deactivates other sperm, stimulates ovulation, and kills their partner's future sex drive. Kill your sex drive. Baby girl, all they doing is conquering you. In every way, shape, form, or fashion. This ain't got nothing to do with love for you. Right? That's why the male wants to isolate you. Right? He want to own you. He wants to sabotage your life. And he want to knock you up with as many kids so you can't do nothing. And this is why they mad. Listen, right here, I need you to understand how all this connect. What you seeing in the fruit fly. What you're seeing right here in the fruit fly. Where he's trying to kill a future sex driver, knock up the kids. This is the same exact reason why people are mad at Russell Wilson, Marion Sierra. Because the male's intent is to conquer and stop the woman. To conquer her and stop her. And the best way to conquer her is to knock her up with kids. So if a, they hope that no other male because they know each other and they don't want no no woman that's been conquered by another male. So they're hoping that no other male would come and quote unquote rescue you for your intended fate. And so for a male to come and save you from your intended fate, he a simp. That's the reason why they hate Russell Wilson. Because it's in the male's nature to perpetually stop you. They do it in all of these species. The male is an animal at his core. And patriarchy screwed him up because the male ain't supposed to be given nothing. He's supposed to work to earn everything that he get in life. And patriarchy gave him a woman. Patriarchy gave him a man. Patriarchy made God in his image. So it stroked the male ego and inflated it to the point that he lives in a delusional land. And he's going through a major source of cognitive dissonance because all of the artificial shit is falling down. And he's going back. He's put back into his nature of having to work for everything and he ain't never had to work for everything. And they don't know how to function like this. With an anti-aphrodisiac. In response, females develop counter-counter strategies to regain the upper hand, or wing, or paw. Some female squirrels, for instance, have figured out how to pluck out their chastity plugs. And in other species like ducks and hyenas, females have evolved maze-like reproductive tracts that require their full cooperation to navigate. So the male is upset because the woman is evolving. The male is upset because the woman is evolving, preventing him from being able to lean on the weak ass game he's been leaning on for a long time. He's been leaning on the government to uphold the laws to keep you subjugated to him. And so that's why they scream feminism. That's why they scream feminism, because they want the laws to keep you from elevating. Because they can't elevate. So now they realize this ain't working and the male is struggling because he has been stopped. His nature has been completely washed out because his nature is to figure life out. He was supposed to be expelling that, that, that sexual energy, that testosterone that was building up. 
He was supposed to be expelling it in the woods, hunting and doing all that. But now that you got grocery stores and jobs and all that, all that pent up energy that the male would have been expelling, working and stuff, farming and all that, he ain't doing it no more. And it's all bottled up in the house. It's all bottled up with him playing video games and stuff. Ain't It's here. And it's like a ticking time bomb. And so he's mad because he don't know how to function as a male because the artificial system altered his nature. The artificial system of patriarchy altered the male's nature and it altered his psychology. So now he's lost, confused and angry. And because of so many males, competition is too great. Competition is too great. And they are upset because it's the woman's turn to evolve beyond the male's nature. So he's stunted. This is the reason why the male is clinging to Andrew Tate. They cling in to fresh and fit. They cling in to all this because they desperately want to exist and they don't know how. And they finna get wiped out. I'm finna show you why they finna get wiped out. Let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find Ken video. Let me see if I can find Ken video. He made this video the other day. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Give me just a second. Damn. I think I'm almost there. Damn. Same video. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, before I finish this, I'm going to let you hear Ken video, okay? I want you to hear what this Asian man say, because I need y'all to see where this world is going, because y'all sitting up here playing, acting like it's a game. Baby, this is not a game. I promise you, this is not a game. You better figure your life out. You better figure your life out. The male is in trouble. There's the a study in The not. Guardian that said the, the median African-American household net worth is going to be zero by 2053. Because we're entering the age of AI, we're going to have self-driving cars and trucks in five to ten years. 30% of malls are going to close in the next four years, thanks to Amazon. Two and a half million call center workers in the U.S. are going to get replaced by AI. This economic tidal wave is going to wipe out many working class jobs. It's going to be the equivalent of a natural disaster. And we know what happens in a natural disaster who suffers? Poor people don't have the resources, people of color. And the same thing is going to happen in this. I can see the tidal wave coming very, very clearly. Twenty fifty. I can see the tidal wave coming very, very clearly, too. I surely can. And the first person that's going to be affected is the male because masculine energy is designed to do. And the male's body is masculine energy on the physical plane it's it's the it's the vessel of masculine energy so he's supposed to do when it ain't nothing for him to do and all of that all of those chemicals are being built up baby what you think finna happen because they already showing you that they aspiration their greatest aspiration is sex and they getting violent because they can't do it now they ain't got no jobs to provide for themselves and women waking up and not letting these dudes live with them or anything. Baby, you better get the hell out the way. You better get the hell out the way. Because this is going to be crack era 2.0. This is going to be ghetto 2.0. 
because you saw what happened in the 80s when they removed industrial jobs out of the inner cities. You saw what happened to the male then. This is only going to get worse. Right? And you better get out the way. Okay? They already don't have a purpose. And then you're going to take the, the little jobs that they could have had away from them? Mm. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. Males evolve in response, and the sexual arms race keeps escalating, which explains why some ducks have penises that look like this. In general, the more promiscuous the species males are, the choosier the females, and the more intense. Uh, the more promiscuous the males are, the more choosy the females get. Well, women are getting choosier, and they're going to be choosier because a person like Princella out here. Because what I teach women how to love themselves. I teach the truth about male nature and the truth about love. My teachings make women realize they shouldn't be in relationships with men. And they're going to start disconnecting. And the male is going to go crazy. Because he literally needs the woman the woman don't need him as much as he needs her. Right? I hope y'all see where the future is going. This is why they have a depopulation plan ready. They have a depopulation plan ready. This is why they are not stopping people from taking themselves out this is the reason why you getting sick with all these crazy diseases because they got to find a way to get these this these people off the planet it's too many it's too many consumers it's too many males and they can't keep going on like this that's why they pushing ai as fast as they can push it they're pushing ai as fast as they can push it Baby, it's not going to be pretty. Hence the sexual arms race. On the other hand, in species in which partners tend to have longer term relationships and raise offspring together, like Homo sapiens. This, this is false. This is false right here. Because the only reason that males and females operate longer with each other is because of social constructs laws rules psychological warfare program and religion forcing them or trying to keep them together but males and females don't be they don't keep themselves together right if the woman if the woman had total freedom of choice and you didn't have religion the male and the female would not stay together for a long period of time Women wouldn't even be living with men. They would be living by themselves and they would separate. And they might visit each other, right? But the women would typically be taking care of the kids and the male would be out there wandering around being lost. So Homo sapiens ain't no different from any other animal. The only difference is the artificial laws and bullshit religions that was created to force them to stay together. Reproductive success for one partner also means success for the other. So the two sexes baby making strategies line up more closely. Most women ain't trying to have multiple kids like that. The majority of women ain't trying to have a bunch of kids. So they don't really line up that closely, right? They don't line up as closely as you think they line up because most women don't want to be laid up there and just knocked up all the time closely but even the possibility of non-monogamy is enough to spark some subtle subterfuge oh it's the male that's scared 
right? The idea that he might lose access to the woman. So hmm, let me hurry up and marry you so you don't so I can own you. Game time, game time is over, yo. Playtime is over. I don't know what y'all think this is. Real talk. I don't know what y'all think this is. Right? Let's see. Right. So listen, y'all. Andrew Tate. The whole manosphere is finna come crashing down. The, I promise you, mark my words in two years and see how far it fall. Watch how far the manosphere falls in the next two years. And watch how the creator start cleaning this up. Watch how, just watch. And the same thing is going to happen. Right? Because you have, you have a new stimuli or the removal of a stimuli and you have to watch how the living organisms respond to that stimulus, right? Living organisms respond to stimuli. I need you to understand this. The five biological characteristics to classify something as living one of the characteristics is it must respond to the environment. So when you add a stimulus into an environment, the living organisms around it will respond to it. Humans are living organisms. Okay. Humans are living organisms. Philosophies are stimulus. A philosophy is a stimulus. So the government and everything, they are always adding stuff into the environment and humans outside of their rational thought will respond biologically and psychologically outside of their conscious awareness. That's what it means to be human, right? So the whole thing finna come crashing down because the truth is out there. The truth is out there. So what I want to do is I'm going to open up the phone lines. Mm. Can y'all hear me? If you can hear me, make sure you, cause I accidentally turned my, I accidentally turned my mixer off. Can you hear me? I'm finna, I'm about to open up the phone lines, right? Yep, okay. Yep, you can hear me, cool. Okay, I'm gonna open up the phone lines. I want y'all to tell me what you, what you gather from this. Call in. And tell me what you gather from this. What do, what do you think? Oh, wait a minute. Before I open up the phone lines. Before I open up the phone lines, I also want to show you another story real quick. All right? I want to show you another story. And I want you to see how this has impacted the youth. All right? I want you to see how the nature is becoming unraveled. So somebody sent me this story. Somebody sent me this. 14-year-old Racine boy in adult court today charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. Prosecutors say he shot a 14-year-old girl three to four times in the head. As Madeline O'Neill explains, the victim says she was trying to break up with him. We have another caller that's saying she was possibly shot. After being shot in the head three to four times, a 14-year-old Racine girl lived to tell police what happened. According to court documents, on Sunday, just before noon, she was on a walk near abandoned train tracks in Racine with her boyfriend at the time. She says they were arguing because she wanted to end their relationship when he tried to end her life. 
according to a criminal complaint filed against 14-year-old Aliyah Olson. The victim says when Olson shot her in the head the first time, she begged for her life. The victim says she was able to run away and wave down a driver near 21st and Memorial Drive, who was able to call 911. Stop on Wayland 21st for a female running around with blood on her asking for help. The complaint says when officers found her, she was, quote, coherent and able to talk to police about what happened despite her very serious injuries. That includes a shot that went in through her left eye and lodged itself near the carotid artery in her neck. The victim was able to identify the shooter as Olson at the hospital. The complaint says Olson later admitted he shot the 14-year-old girl, quote, in a fit of rage over a Snapchat post and the breakup. Listen, I need y'all to hear this. The 14-year-old boy shot her because I keep telling you about male nature, but y'all don't want to believe me. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody raising no kids. This has to do with the nature of the male outside of any artificial programming. What, how did the male, the 14 year old male respond at 14? He is newly introduced to a chemical, a new chemical in his body, which is called testosterone, which has an effect on the brain. Testosterone has an effect on the human male's brain. And what did I tell you over and over and over and over again that that chemical did? It triggers the emotion center called the amygdala. And males who are angry are more likely to attack the target of their anger physically. At 14, he has testosterone, a chemical he ain't quite used to operating with. And what did he say? Rage. He shot the 14-year-old girl because he was enraged, angry, because she what? Tried to leave. She tried to leave. And the male's ego was shattered because the male needs the female and a lot of them depend on women for their self-validation or for their validation. They think they own women and by them listening to this stuff on YouTube it is giving them permission. Listen to me, ladies. I need y'all to say this. I need you to hear me when I'm saying this. I need you to hear me good. The male does not need to be trained to do anything. All he needs is the permission to come unraveled. Because what y'all dealing with is the nature of the male. The male is not running on any philosophy because the philosophies that they are allowed, uh, that, that support them, allow them to run ungoverned and uncontrolled. So you're not dealing with a program, ladies. You are dealing with the male nature and there is no program. There is no morality. There is nothing putting a governor on his behavior. There's nothing there. All of the moral compasses, all of the moral structures have been eroded. You're dealing with the male in his raw, ungoverned nature. And now the manosphere, Andrew Tate, the people that they look up to, only give the male the permission to be reckless. They give him the permission to be violent. They give him the permission. That's it. You're not dealing with a program. And since the male don't listen and he don't respect women, baby, you you wasting your breath and you ain't doing nothing but making it worse. You're making him more angry the more you keep talking. Ooh, the more you keep talking, the angrier he gets. And 
And you also hurt his ego when you don't talk. Baby, you walking on thin ice because baby, you damned if you do and damned if you don't because either action can make the male mad because if you keep talking, you're going to continue to make the rage go up, right? You're going to keep pushing it up if you keep talking, right? You go say something that can shatter his ego and make him explode. You'll say something like, hit me. You'll test him. Hit me, hit me. Not realizing that the male has very little capabilities of controlling himself when he's angry because he doesn't have the brain structure to do it. So if you talk, you can tick him off. If you walk away, why you can tick him off because he wants to be in control. And by you walking away, you remove the control from him, which will make him angry. Baby, you damned if you do or you damned if you don't. I'm trying to save your life. This is why it pissed me off when y'all talk about me charging for my memberships. Baby, ain't nobody teaching you like I am. I earn every right to ask you for a donation. I earn every right to charge for my membership or exclusive content. I earn that, baby. I earn that. Because I make you see what can't nobody else make you see. Now I'm going to open up the phone lines. And I want y'all to tell me what you think. I'm not going to stay long, though. I'm not going to stay long. I'd appreciate it if y'all do hit my cash app up. I got a couple of them to come in. But I would appreciate it if you support the show because I'm too raw and I'm too real to get sponsored by anybody. So I would appreciate if y'all throw me something to say thank you and just to say, hey, the energy you give is the energy you receive. Right. 832-627-6575. Tell me what you think. Somebody say, somebody, what you do, you just... Unknown stay caller. Out stay out the way. Hello, this hey, is Priscilla. Hey, who am I speaking with? Hey, Priscilla, this is Candace. Hey, Candace, how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. What you got? <laughs> what you got for us tonight? Ooh, first of all, I'm just thankful that I'm born a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I just because these males are something else, and I just I'm not gonna stay long, but I just want to say I'm just so grateful to you because you are changing lives. And saving lives. And I just I just love you to pieces. I'm so thankful for you, Prince Ella. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to drop down and let somebody else get on there. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Next. Next caller. Come in and holler at me. What you got? Was you surprised about anything you heard tonight? What you think about Andrew Tate? What you think about the whole manosphere thing? Now not everybody call at once, right? Because y'all know how I'm going to do. Y'all know how I'm going to do. If y'all ain't calling, I'm going to bid you a good night. There you go. Unknown caller. Hello, who am I speaking with? Oh, this is Grace Mott. Hi, how you doing? Good, it's great. I didn't know I was um I would have made it through. Yes, ma'am. Can you turn your TV down in the back? Oh yes. It's down. All right. Now, how, what you got for us tonight? 
Nothing. I'm just calling to show my appreciation of the channel. I know your channel is new, and I will join the membership. I'm just happy to see so many females, well, so many women. You know, some people uh, have issues with the word females now, although um, I do know women is uh, a female. Well, a woman is a, a human female. But um, so many women speaking up on these facts. So many women are waking up. Um, so it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing to witness. So just want to say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Hey, from Sarah. This is Jade. Um, I wanted to comment on that story about the 14-year-old boy. Yes, ma'am. I noticed um, this month or within the last month um, of last year that we've been seeing like a rise in young boys um, harming women, their mothers especially. Mm -hmm. Um. I just wonder how long it'll take the FBI to start considering the entire manosphere. Like, um, what do they what do they label like terrorist kind of organizations? Right. Yeah. Um, I I know that they argued with that for incels, but I I noticed that they focus on white incels. Mm -hmm. Um. So I wonder, like, do you think that they'll be like at any point they'll be considered a terrorist group? Or do you think that because of patriarchy, they're still going to kind of keep it under wraps? I think they'll, I think for a while they'll try to keep it under wraps. And the reason why is because you have so many of them that believe that they're speaking the truth for men that like everybody's getting poisoned. The males, they believe this, right? Then they're everywhere. They're in your government. They, they, they're in your police and everything. Like my cousin, I used to have so much respect for my cousin. Man, I went to, for Christmas, I went down there. My cousin taught himself how to f fly a plane. Uh, by the time he was 16, he could fully fly a plane, a commercial airline if he needed if, if, if he needed to. Wow. Right? He was that mm -hmm. intelligent. You know what I mean? But, man, when I, and he was raised up by, you know, it was mostly women in the family. Right? The males right. were trash in the family, even his own daddy. <laughs> Man, right. when he got down there and I started talking to him, I say, my cousin's stupid. My cousin, he started speaking my that cousin, rhetoric? Yes. I say, my cousin retarded. I said, and I got on him. I say, man, you, anybody, out of everybody, you ain't got no business repeating this stuff. I said, dude, you're a captain in the Air Force. You fly planes. Yep. You, mm -hmm. You're a decent looking guy. You 6'2". What? What the hell are you talking about? And then he gonna talk about my, I, you know, my sisters. You know, I, you know, I, it's a shame that I see the black women. I say, dude, you ain't never even like black girls. We don't, boy. You ain't. You always dated white, white, white girls since you was a kid. I mean, well, you, right. you ain't date them. You ain't date them because a lot of people in the family thought you was gay. But, um. <laughs> But you ain't never like no black chicks. And now here you are talking about black women. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you talking about? Your daddy was garbage. Right. <laughs> and, you, right. and here you right. are talking about my black queens. And like, oh, what? I say my cousin is stupid. And I was sad. I was really hurt because my cousin has been contaminated with this rhetoric and you can't get through to him and he wanted yep. to come and i had to ride four hours with him to the dallas game we went to go watch dallas cowboys play and i had to ride four hours with this fool talking this retarded shit right and so my whole point of the matter is is even though my cousin is specialized in in flight stuff okay and he was damn near straight a student let me tell you something males mm -hmm. are retarded everywhere don't matter what specialty they got and they this this shit stroke their ego and it make them feel powerful and i said man dude 
if you talking about black chicks, you ain't never liked black chicks anyway. Why you right. ain't dating no white girl? Right. Why you ain't that? Where, where your girlfriend? I ain't got no girlfriend. Why you ain't got no girlfriend? Is everybody <laughs> right? Because <laughs> she's bitter. Because she's bitter, and no one wants to be around that. Right. He you can feel that energy just, just stenching off of them. Like just when they're resentful mm-hmm. of women and not having a woman, like they, it just reeks off of them. It reeks of desperation. And like you said, like the way that he was raised, it's like there's no reason for you to be like that. It just seems like no matter how they're conditioned, no matter how how well their mothers may raise them, fathers, whatever, it's like it's like this cult kind of thing where mm-hmm. it's like everyone's just trying to get some type of ego stroke, some type of it just seems like validation from these men that they look at as like their leaders is more important than everything. Yep. And it's just like hive mind. It's it's really weird. And they don't even notice. They don't even notice that they're doing it. It's like I don't know, like they, they don't I don't think they think. They don't. I don't think they think. They don't. They don't. That's why I don't talk to males about nothing. That's why when they call my phone, all I want to show them is a pair of titties. That's it. <laughs> right. Don't talk to me. Don't right. talk uh, to uh, me. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I just want to uh, show them a oh, pair of titties. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm not even worried about that. And then they just they they just sound stupid. Yeah. They sound stupid every time. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh my God. listen. Well, no, go ahead. No, I was saying I thank you for calling and and, and chit chatting. Of course, <laughs> of course. I just really wanted to point that out. I I just really want to know, like, how long are they going to keep letting this go on? I mean, I, at this point, it's like you know we have to get ourselves armed and and start. You know, I'm I'm actually going to look into like get getting like a gun license, mm-hmm. even if I don't get a gun. Mm-hmm. It's just good to have one. So I feel like, yeah, that's that's what we need to be doing because it seems like the, the government is just taking its time, like you said. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All well, I can tell you is protect yourself because, they again, they need to get rid of some people on the planet. So a pe- lot of people going to be unaliving themselves. Do, and women who just act like they can't get away, you're going to go down with them because they're going to unalive you before they unalive themselves because at the end of the day, these dudes ain't got nothing to live for and it ain't going to hurt them to take you out with them. So you keep on playing with them, all right? And you, and you don't hop on this arc, this this virtual arc that I done created. That's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will be following you and thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate you. Bye. Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Princella. It's Nikki. How are you? I'm fantastic, Nikki. What you got for us tonight? I actually was late coming into the show, um, but I did see the thing about the 14-year-old, which is absolutely insane. But I sent a text message because I I kept getting voicemail when I called. Mm -hmm. Um, I tagged you in a video on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I was scrolling last night, and this girl had this video up of this guy that was in the car, like, arguing with his homeboy that he was not going to take care of his children because their mother moved on and got a new boyfriend. And I was like, what? Like, I mean, even his homeboy was, like, so pissed off, but it's like, I that just blew my mind because it confirms your point that men are incapable of love. Like you can't say you love your kids. Oh, but F my kids because my, uh, their mother is, is messing with another dude. Like that makes, that makes no sense. Like that's, that's, it's, that's not love. Like you, you can't say you love your children and then turn your backs on them because the mother moved on. Right. Like, that just makes absolutely no sense. I don't have children, but I just cannot fathom that in my mind, like how that's appropriate. Well, so that's, it just and makes- that's the guy, that's, that's, that's who they told y'all was the leader. The one, who, <laughs> right. That's, that, that's who the leader, right. And, and, in order for the male to quote unquote be a leader, he need a whole bunch of help. He need the law. He need religion. He need somebody to give him a job. He needs so many crutches to sustain him as a leader because if you don't have it he's going to 
just be reckless. And so all of the crutches are being removed and the male is showing you exactly who he is. So when I had my old TikTok account, that TikTok account, I had like 70 some thousand followers and they took that TikTok account away from me. So I ain't really been messing with TikTok lately, really. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So yeah, I found you on your first one and I was so happy to see that you were back on there again. Um, but yeah, that's how I, once I found your, your first TikTok and you, you had made a video on that one saying that they were going to ban you and to follow you on YouTube. So that's when I started, uh, when I subscribed to your YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, when I, when I saw that, I instantly thought about you. So I tagged you in the comments and I was like, they're, they just keep proving your point. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm saying. When I had my old TikTok account, I had a video that, that went viral, right? <laughs> and um you know spiritual word put it up uh, um they 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 put it up reposted it on instagram people on youtube was talking about it and everything and that video was me telling women the real issue that men have with child support is the fact that they ain't getting the punani no more oh yeah yes, yes, and yes, everybody yes, wanted yes. to disagree with me that video. yeah nah that but this one is is confirming that exactly. Like he was straight up mad, and his homeboy ended up putting him out of the car. He was like, "You got to get out of my fucking car because I'm not rocking with no nigga that's not taking care of his kids." I was like, "Oh my god!" Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. But it was insane, and then it was the dude, the dude in the back. It was like three of my guests. The dude in the back was recording, and he was like, um, "The dude in the front was like, I'll put you out too. You can don't in this shit." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I was I, that the, the dude but, is the males are mad because I really know males better than they know themselves. I know everything there is to know about a male, and they can't pull the wool over my eyes. That's why I don't listen to them. I know you. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. My bad. Hey, go ahead and get your last word in, and I'm going to go ahead and take some more calls. Okay, I just wanted to say um, that I 100% agree with everything you say. Like, you do know them better than they know themselves. I have read your book uh, from cover to cover, and I love it. And you're saving lives out here. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yes. And we all love you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I, I text message with love. Cause <laughs> yes a lot but thank you so much i'm gonna let somebody else get on um i just i appreciate you so much all right thank, thank you. you thank you bye. Okay. bye all right no call id uh, who is you <laughs> this is Corey. hey Corey. is this are you 14 how old are you Corey? oh no no i'm, okay. I'm over 21 <laughs> okay all right because you know y'all y'all be calling with these no call ids and then y'all sound like kids i got to be on guard now from that last call <laughs> no i remember that last call and you're absolutely right um i wanted to chime in and saying that um here's what what i hate what disturbs me is how black women and men feel like our grandmothers and great grandmothers had great relationships with our grandfathers and great grandfathers. And that is so untrue. Our grandmothers and great grandma grandmothers got dogged out. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm currently reading um, an autobiography about Alice Duncan. She was the first um, black female press and got access to the White House, and she describes her relationships with um, her husbands, mm -hmm. and in the beginning, they were nice to her when they were courting her, but the moment they married her or she had gotten one child, they com completely turned on her, and um, she says how um, they will run at the first sign of responsibility or when things got hard and got tough, right. they ran out on her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, these dudes are just trash. I mean, even my own grandfather, he was trash. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm glad black women are waking up and seeing that these men aren't S-H-I-T and that um, they really do drain you. I really do believe that, especially especially in these days and times, that marriage is slavery. Yes. Every married woman I see, she's not happy. 
Right. Not happy at all. Nor has the man brought any kind of quality to her life. You know what I mean? Right. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I just want to, um, and I'm happy. <laughs> I am happy to be alone. Um, I noticed that when I was dealing with men, um, maybe that's when a little uh, insecurity was set in. But I noticed when I'm not dealing with men, no, I have no insecurities. You know, uh, I get more, I get more things done in life and I'm just I'm happier you know men really do drain you and um, I, I appreciate your show keep on doing what you're doing and um, these men are so violent gosh they are violent and it's just not black men when it comes to violence it's just all across the board they're violent all they want to do, all they think about is sex. I've talked to white men, same thing. Their game is just a little different, you know, but the moment they hint that, you know, you won't be effing them, they don't have really much to do with you either, you know. Um, I've talked to this one guy. He was a teacher, white guy. He was a teacher, and he tried to sound like he wasn't bothered by the fact that women um, are more independent and they don't need him. He was bitter. Right. This teacher was bitter at the fact that women no longer need men and that um, he's what he was in his 40s and he's just now looking at getting married. But and when he told me the reason why he was looking for marriage is because he didn't want to die alone. Mm hmm. <laughs> I said, what? Not you, not y'all men. You know, this is supposed to be the fear of the woman. No, it was all about him. He didn't want to die alone. He wanted to have some kind of agency. agency should he get hospi hospitalized and all that kind of... I'm like, wow, these these men are something else. But things are really... Cha are, are, are the, the outlook for men is not good because... Um, they fell for the the BS, the brainwashing, the rap music, um, bitches ain't shit. And um, they're just going to have a tough time out here in this world, but I really don't give a damn. And, you know. It is what it is. It is, it what, is it what it is. is. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, so thank you very much and have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. I appreciate you calling me back. Yeah. Um, hold on. I don't have you in my earpiece, so I can't. But you probably can hear me. Yes. I appreciate you so much. You do not understand the voice that you have and the, the amount of power that you hold. <sighs> I have so much to say, but I don't want to waste your time either. Um, I'm going to talk about that 14-year-old boy mm -hmm. who shot the 14-year-old girl. I feel for the mother of the daughter, mm -hmm. and I have a son. He's 15. I let him listen to a little bit of what you were saying, and he was like, she's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. He was like, these boys are crazy, Mom. I live in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. My son goes to Prior Lake High School, mm -hmm. and he was like, Mom, there are nothing but rapists and racists at these schools. It's predominantly Caucasian. And he's like, all they do is sweep all these issues under the rug when it comes to young girls. Mm -hmm. A boy openly admitted to uh, the essay, I'll say essay, mm -hmm. girls. These girls are outing all of these boys. And they're just trying to sweep it under the rug. Mm -hmm. He's like, mom, I know these dudes. And he's like, since he know that there's evidence out there that they're trying to, you know, wipe away, he's all like, no, nope, there's evidence. You did what you did exactly what they said. Those girls said, "I don't know you anymore." He's like, "I disassociate myself." He's so like over what ha the tragedies, all the racism and the and the things that are happening with the girls. He's just like, I just he's like, I don't understand how people can treat other people like that. But I still, as me being a woman, I still say to my son, "I love you," but at this stage. You need to go with your father because he needs to now, you know, raise you up in this sense of this manhood. Mm -hmm. 
that your father doesn't even understand because I know I'm done doing the duties of, you know, hey, you're, you're no longer, you know, this young man. You're turning into a man in a sense. And I know that one day you're going to get out here in the world. All I ask for you, even whether you listen to me or not, you know, you treat people with respect. Right. But I also have a daughter who is right behind him in age, mm-hmm. who is just like, these men, the boys, they're, they're lunatics. <laughs> they're crazy. They don't care about how they treat people. And all I have to say is your ideology is on point. It is on point when it comes to how men treat women. We are not humans to them. We are things, tools. Uh, we're servants, slaves. It, it is all true. I was married for seven years to a United States Marine, and I felt like a slave. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, I felt like a human, but at the end of my marriage, I felt like a slave. He, didn't, he no longer seen me, and I was raised in the church, so I had that whole concept of being the Proverbs 31 woman. I want to be the perfect wife for my, for my husband. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be at his beck and call. That's going to please me, and it's going to please him. You can do all that you can for these people, and, and it's still not enough. Right. My black man, you could do all that you can, and it is still not enough. They don't care about you. They don't appreciate you. They do not love you. They do not know what love is. Mm-hmm. They don't know. They don't understand it. Mm-hmm. And I uh, was listening to one of your messages when you were saying, you know, love is not an action. Mm-hmm. And I also was listening to one of your messages. I forgot the guy that was on there. He was a very very articulate, intelligent uh, young man. And he was just, he, he understood mm-hmm. when you get into a relationship, it's not about what somebody can do for you. It's what services you can give to somebody. I said, thank you. I said, That's all. Like, what can you do for somebody else? But at the end of the day, these men will continue to grow into whatever they see fit and then become that or however they decide, but whatever, you know, yes, ma'am. and it's out of our control. It is out of our control, but I'm not going to waste no more of your time, but I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you. Thank you. So and much. thank you for doing what you are doing thank and you. keep doing what you are doing. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You guys. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, this is Princella. We still live. Who am I speaking with? Hi, my name is Britt. How you doing, Britt? Thanks for calling me back. I'm fine. Um, I just wanted to share my own personal experience with everything that you've been talking about. Um I have, you know, talked to guys and I've been stalked, like I've been threatened and you know, since I found your channel, I'm just like the look of stuff is making sense now and I don't feel crazy. I don't feel like, you know, what the hell is wrong with these men? So, right. again, I just want to thank you for your platform and um, sharing this knowledge. And uh, yeah, that's it. Well, thank you so much for calling and letting me know that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, sorry, I missed you. We- Hello. Hello. This is Princella. Who am I speaking with? Um, Miss Kim. Hello, Miss Kim. What you got for us tonight? You know what? I'm just like so impressed by all your callers and like the tone of speech mm-hmm. and everything. I'm I'm widowed. I have two kids, and I feel like I struggle a lot mm-hmm. because I have to be mom and dad, mm-hmm. and I feel like the climate that we live in. <laughs> it's so touchy. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. And, like, 
what I would present as is like a white lady, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm like a quarter Blackfoot Cherokee Indian. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of shit is being appropriated right now. Mm -hmm. I'm a hairdresser by trade. Okay. And I feel like people get really upset about stuff that's like not super important. I have a client, she came to me, she says, hey, I want to make you platinum. I want you to make me platinum blonde. And I said, I'm going to fucking do it. It's my favorite combination. Dark skin, fucking bright ass white hair. Some people would cry like cultural appropriation, but I feel like we're at a time where we need to be celebrating everybody's cultures. And like in America, a lot of us are mixed. And... Yeah, you know what I mean? No, I totally I totally agree with you. I think all of this stuff is holding on to separation is all outdated. This is because energy is supposed to flow, right? We can go, everything is energy. Everything is energy and there's no place where energy is compartmentalized. So when you're talking about like diffusion and osmosis, right? Energy all I don't believe in any division. I don't want us to be divided. Yeah. Well, all of this division comes from males' philosophy. Males are the conquerors. They, yes. they created all of these philosophies. And what they did was imputed their mentality into women. So white males imputed the toxic mentality of yes. racism into white women. That's what they did. And yes. And can I say something? Go ahead. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. I feel like marriage is an institution of slavery. I have always said this. Mm -hmm. I have children. I had a life partner, I had somebody I really loved, mm -hmm. and he put me in a really bad partnership. Like, if you're talking business, I would never enter in a partnership with this person that, like, abused me judiciarily, like, physically, like, uh, time-wise. He took so much away from me, and it's like, oh, you should get remarried, my family says, my fucking white family. They're like, oh, yeah, like, marry a farmer or, like, get your shit together or whatever. And it's like, no, I'm not willing to enter into any kind of a business relationship with anyone because men, they can fucking destroy you. They can take everything that you look for. Oh, you want to be a stay-at-home mom? Oh, fuck you. Just let go of your career. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. And then when you want to go get work, after he leaves you, after he finds something younger or goes and overdoses, right? Right. Then you're going to be five years not having done anything and you've got to explain to prospective employers what you've been doing with your time. It's like, oh, well, you know, I was raising my children. And that's not valued in our society. And right. I think that that's bullshit. Right. No, it is. And this is the reason why women need to stick together because... M males and females were never the nuclear family is bs that's bs women were all it is w women have always been communal and they always raised the kids with each other that's really how it was and so males broke women up and put everybody against each other right and and and, and dividing women up by race and all of that has destroyed the planet it has destroyed the entire doggone world right and so so i I'm black for Cherokee Indian, mm -hmm. so that is a matriarchal society. Right. That is where the the women decide. The men, they're the warriors. If you look in the animal communities, if you look at lions, like male lions, they don't do shit. Like they fuck bitches, and then they're like there to be like backup. They don't hunt. They don't kill. Yeah. They don't really contribute. And in most, like, scientific realms, the males prey mantis, but, but they just eat them after they're done, them doing their job, cuttlefish, squid, same deal. Mm -hmm. But in the same sense, society wants to try to remove the power. I am the father and mother to my children due to my circumstances. Mm -hmm. And you know what? <laughs> they have such a better upbringing than some people that have two parents but but in the same sense like why do we need to remove both parents from the home why do we need to make it so fucking expensive to live to where like 
you can't even raise the next generation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're doing that intentionally, right? Uh, and that's that's to uh, wipe out the the bottom of the bottom, right? And, and just reset everything. So you know, there's a purpose behind it all. I definitely appreciate you calling in. We got a lot of callers tonight, so I'm gonna try to get through. Oh, this. for sure, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. Bye. Right. Who did I just call? Okay. Hello. Hello, this is Princella. Can you turn your TV down in the back? Yeah, for sure. Thank you for calling me back. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, first of all, awesome show tonight. Like, each show, I just come up with, like, a new realization. Like, it's, it's amazing, this knowledge, because I'm at a place, I'm 24, mm-hmm. so I'm at a place where I've completely put away that whole idea of, like, honestly giving birth because it's just getting too real out here like especially when you're saying like it only gets worse until it gets better right and truthfully as like the older daughter of the family i get it it's like witnessing my mother growing up like we were christian like very like fundamentalist christian Mm -hmm. man is supposed to be the head of the household she was miserable growing up right And then it's just like, why would I, even if I had that quote unquote, that benefit, was it really a benefit of having like a father in the household? Cause like I only grew up seeing my mother serve and struggle, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I'm honestly just looking at like this information. I'm like, if he's not a trick, then why is he, why is he in my life? Like, right exactly (laughs) it's just that simple like i don't have like that moral i guess that moral dilemma anymore when it comes to talking about men like that because that's really all they care about exactly and so now you understand the mind of a gold digger or mind of an escort or any of these chicks out here they've been understanding this on a like they might not be able to verbalize it and teach like I do, but they innately know this. So they've been, so all of this stuff I'm teaching really is the secret of the gold digger. And she been using this to advantage and ain't none of them just came out. They made you think that they had some type of magic power that you didn't have, but they ain't never been able to tell you the real deal. But see, now that you know the real deal, it don't, you don't have no guilt for telling the dude to send you a cash app. If you want to talk to me, exactly. where, where, your, money, where your money at? Exactly. Yeah. Like, and it's so funny because, like, they're delusional themselves. Like, like 40-year-old men, 50-year-old men really think that I genuinely like them. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Girl, you better you better but make just, sure he, he you better tell him a thousand dollars for two two minutes, twenty minutes. I need my student loans paid. I need my car loan paid. I need all this paid. <laughs> Eggs are like twenty dollars now. It's not a joke anymore. Right. Right. <laughs> sad. Sad. Look, this is why women need to stick together, right? This is the very reason why women need to stick together because it's going to get worse before it get better. Yup. I need to get on that membership. Next paycheck, we're getting the, the membership. We need to get it because this is, it's not a joke anymore. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's not a joke anymore. Like, even just with, like, your free knowledge, so much gain can be, like, 
then these like feminine these bullshit coaches right they don't know what so they're talking about more. they have no clue yeah. what they're talking about mm-hmm. so that, i know you have all other colors but i just wanted to say that like thank you like wow no problem thank you so much i appreciate it <laughs> bye bye Hello, who am I speaking? Hello, who am I speaking with? This is Young E D. How you doing? What how can I uh, what you got for us tonight? Yeah, I just wanted to add my little two cents. Um, yeah, I think that something's wrong with them. Mm -hmm. I um just finding you and you brought me back to my early girl stage when I was younger and I was like, something is wrong. I was afraid of them. And I'm like, something wrong with them. And I had, I come from a family with like a lot of druggies and stuff like that. And I would just sit up and just talk to them and just try to understand what the hell was going on in their mind. Mm -hmm. But I got two brothers, I got an uncle, and I have watched them and I'm like, something is wrong. Especially my uncle, he's an older guy, but he always one younger women and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Right. Like, it, it was just weird. And so I'm like, okay, I got four daughters. And two of them, my 12-year-old and my 21-year-old, well, 21-year-old, they get it. My 21-year-old has never had a boyfriend. And when I tell my family, they think she gay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, no, she sees it. She's observing, and she knows that, hey, they're trash. Right. And I'm just like, yeah, girl, you hit the nail on the head. These dudes are not it. We need to just stay to ourselves. <laughs> stay away from them. Right. Because they're just getting worse by the day. All these stories we have, I'm, I'm observing them at work. Mm -hmm. They are unmoved. Yeah. I've had stalkers. I've had like they just won't leave me alone. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of female. Like if I see something, I just exit. Mm -hmm. But then they just won't leave you alone. Right. So now I'm like, okay, well, let me get my gun certificate. Let me tell my kids like, hey y'all, leave these dudes alone. Like you see what what's going on, mm -hmm. especially the the, the, the guy that. And say his mama and beat up like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I went to school with some dude way back in that was like eighth grade. And I remember seeing him on a bus. He was just quiet. And then like a couple months later, he on news. He didn't got on, he was smoke something and killed his mama. Right. Burnt the house down. Right. Like something is wrong and something has always been wrong. And then when I tried, I got my kids because I was young. I was 15. Right. And some dude, whatever, I grew up with him, but he tricked me because I'm trying to listen to my mama and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm looking at my mama. And I'm like, you are male-centered and you, everything is about a man. I'm not with that. And then they look at me like something was wrong with me because I'm just not agreeing with how they want me to be. Right. Oh, you need a man. You 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 got kids. You need a man. Oh, it's something they weird. They rape. They do all types of stuff. Cause I've been to some abusive things, and like literally twice, I got two two baby daddies or whatever, and both of them have jumped on me. And in the worst way, I've seen red, like their pupils turn red. And I'm like, this is the devil. Mm -hmm. I've seen it twice. Something is wrong with them. I got one brother that's in the Navy. He seems to have it. But then when I was talking to him, I could see some of the stuff and how he was talking. I'm like, damn, something wrong with you too. Even though you seem okay. But mm -hmm. something wrong with you too. Yep. And I'm like, I'm just over them. I, I Like when I do try to date them, 
and it, and I'm real quick to cut you off, they will just keep going and stop you, call you eight thousand times, and like what the hell? The and I'm even at work. I work for the government. I work for the post office. And I'm watching them in the post office. And I'm like, the conversation with them is always about sex. It's always about sex. And it's disgusting. And it's like, do y'all think of anything else? And then it's almost like, well, what can a woman, it's always what can a woman do for me? Not what you trying to bring to the female. And I'm so sick of that. It's like, I'm disgusted. I don't like them at all. Like, I don't like them. I'm not gay, but I don't like them. And I don't fool with them, and I'm trying to get all of the girls on board. Like, do y'all see this behavior? Do you see what you're seeing out here? Absolutely. Stop entertaining these groups. Absolutely. Absolutely. I surely appreciate your commentary, right? They have, they, mm-hmm. they are devolved beings. And they eventually will be completely obliterated. So any dude that got an ounce of sense, he better see it and straighten up his act. Because if he don't, he going to be washed out in the ocean. Uh, I thank you so much for uh, calling in. And hopefully you continue to watch the show. Absolutely. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Bye. One more. And then that's it. It's the last caller, y'all. It's the last caller. Hello. Hello. This is Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with tonight? Oh, hi, Priscilla. This is BJ. Hey, BJ. What you got for us tonight? I would like to say I really appreciate your show. Um, You are bringing so much knowledge to women. And um, what you're speaking about, I've been thinking about these things for years. I just felt like I was ahead of my time with the women that I was hanging around. Mm-hmm. And it's just so exciting to see the dynamics, the shift that women are moving in right now because it's needed. And um, it's just so frustrating to see every day you hear about young women getting killed at the hands of men, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't have any children. And I'm kind of glad that I don't Mm -hmm. because I'm not attached to a man in no way, shape, form, or fashion. And uh, I just want to say keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. I'm going to support you. And I will continue to watch your shows. And I will spread the message amongst the women that I come across. Thank you. And I just thank you so much. And I appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Thank y'all all. Oh, so let's go ahead and get to some of these cash apps. And uh, let's thank everybody who uh, sent them in. Okay. Okay, let's roll down. The, let's roll down the list here. Okay. Samasha, $10. Ava L, $25. Candace Hall, ten dollars. Jamerus, three dollars and fifty eight cents. Uh, Mary Chance, ten dollars. Raquel J, five dollars. Jamila Williams, twenty dollars. Uh, Shahrazad, Shahrazad. Mm, I think that's pronounced the same way as Shahrazad Ali, but it's spelled a totally different way. Unknown caller. Shahrazad, $30. Divinely Yvonne, $25. Ebony, $20. Zandra Howard, $10. Thank y'all so much for uh, supporting me and the direction that we're going. All right. We need we need a little bit of love. We need to wake everybody up. And I, I saw a lot of the comments was talking about weapons and weapons. Weapon. Y'all need some CHLs. I'm going to be hooking up with somebody down here in Houston to try to put together a weapons course, right? We're going to train. I'll be obviously right at the forefront and we're going we're going we're going to have a woman's weapons group, right? I got a lot of weapons. I'm going to get some more 
and women do need to be trained. So that's what I, I'm working on. I'm putting together out here. So if it's something that y'all think y'all want to uh, be a part of and you're in Houston, we'll have some, I'll be able to put a sign up sheet and all of that stuff. And then you can sign up there. Another thing we have, um, my book club. If you want to be a member of my book club, um, you can join because registration is open. I'll be starting a new book in a couple of weeks. I was going to start it this Wednesday, but I got so much going on and I need to really kind of catch up. So I'm going to just go ahead and postpone it to, to start towards the end of the end of the month. But you can sign up and register to be a part of the book club and it will be held on Wednesday at 10 a.m. So if you off and you can do Wednesday, great. If you can't, you can also sign up for the next book. That registration is open as well. The next book we'll be doing is um, Think and Grow Rich. We're going to be reading Think and Grow Rich. And this is this book club meeting is held on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. So you can choose to do Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. or Sunday morning at 10 a.m. All right. So you can go sign up over there um, and we'll be looking to put another workshop together soon. The my love workshop uh, where I show scientifically con in connection with the five components of love, how men are incapable of love, why they're incapable of love and why they will never, ever move to the top where love is and we'll show you that which will show you why and how you where you went wrong right and your assessments on love and all of that and how you can begin to truly love yourself this is important and so when i announce that y'all should sign up for that um i do also live shows on wednesday full live shows on wednesday and that's for the highest tier that I have, which is the high power tier, right? If you sign up for the high power tier, you'll be able to get access to my Wednesday live sessions. This next live session is going to be interesting because I'm, pl uh, I'm delving deep into how to read how to read red flags and how to trust your intuition. I've got two situations that happened to me this week where I had to evaluate all of the information that was given so I could find out what was going on. It was some fishy stuff going on, and I was able to keep myself out of it given all of the details that I gathered from these conversations. So I want to tell you about them, and I'm going to show you exactly the process that I went through to piece things together, to put a whole picture together to see that this is some fishy stuff going on and you stay out of the way, right? I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to be next Wednesday. So um, I've enjoyed you guys. And I will see y'all again possibly tomorrow. I'm not certain if I'm going to cancel tomorrow's show or not. It's going to depend on what I got going on tomorrow. But if not, I'll be here tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>